Hello, my name is Kiva and this is DIY with KB. Today we are making some restoration hardware object DIYs. The first one we're gonna do is a restoration hardware torso sculpture. I love these sculptures, but they're so expensive. So what you're gonna wanna do is buy a mannequin off of Amazon and then grab some Rust-Oleum paint. This is their paint in flat black and you're gonna wanna spray paint that mannequin. Try to spray paint in a very well ventilated area. As you'll see throughout this video, I did not do a good job at following my own instructions, but the best thing about this is this, um, the torso comes with a really great box. So you can spray paint in there to make sure you don't get any of the paint on any surfaces. And you're gonna wanna cover this really well and wait overnight for it to dry. Patience is really important with this project. As I always say, I don't have any, but try to be better than me. Next, you're gonna to wanna to buy this Rust-Oleum Stone Texture Black Granite Spray Paint. It is essential to getting really good texture on your mannequin so that it looks less like a piece of plastic and more like a stone sculpture. And the good thing about this is since it's plastic, it's hollow in the back, so it's not too heavy, so you're gonna be able to make it stand up um, very easily. So you're just gonna grab that Stone Texture Spray Paint and spray it all over the mannequin. Try to do this in a very well lit area because it's kind of hard to see the texture when it's dark wherever you are um, and cover it completely like all of the sides every edge because you really want it to again and not look like it's plastic while that dries you're gonna like want to get a stand this is a stand that i got from goodwill for 99 cents for something else a long time ago so i'm just going to paint this one but if you don't have a stand laying around from an old object you can get a donut stand actually on amazon and it's the exact right shape and you're just going to want to paint that and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to paint my stand i just have some black acrylic paint on hand i'm going to pour it into my styrofoam cup so i make less of a mess and just paint it by hand you could of course spray paint it i'm going to ultimately end up spray painting it again so that's the exact same color as my statue but it's nice to do a preliminary paint so that um, there's no brown or um, original color poking through Next, go back to your garage or wherever you spray painted it originally and spray paint it again with that Rust-Oleum flat paint so you can get most of the white specks that are in the granite spray paint away because I don't want that white color. Some of it is still shining through, um, but not a lot. And I'm just dabbing off all the excess paint because I hate the drippy look of spray paint, which is why I don't ever use spray paint normally. This is the texture, you can see it's a very robust texture and that's what I was really going for. Um, so I'm gonna leave it like this for now and then I'm going to mount it. What I did is I used the hole that's already in the bottom of the mannequin and I just extended it with some scissors. And then I'm just shoving my stand in there. As you can see, like I said before, I didn't perfectly um, paint the stand because I'm gonna spray paint everything all over again. So no need to be perfect on the first tie and you just have to shove it in there. In doing this, I discovered that the placement of the hole in the mannequin was too far back so that um, it was a little bit too top heavy. So it was falling over, so I needed to extend the stand. So I would start like this um, originally, if I were redoing this again, just get one long pole and run it up the side of the, um, the back of the mannequin, but I didn't have that. So I just extended an extra piece of what I had laying around to the stand and I secured it with um, hot glue using the Gorilla Glue sticks. And don't worry, it's not gonna end up looking like this because we're gonna spray paint the back. So it's going to look more seamless. It's not gonna look like you put um, spray paint everywhere. And as you can see, I try to be creative to um, even, evenly distribute the weight. So I tried to use clay to weigh down the back, but it didn't work. Um, but again, I spray paint over that again. But yes, just secure it like this so that it can go straight up and down because you don't want your bust to topple over it. And it's really important to have a stand because they have a stand on almost all of them at RH and you really want to emulate that look the best that you can. Next, grab some kids air dry clay. I buy mine from Walmart for $5 for five pounds and just add it to the neck and anywhere else on the bus that you wanna add some additional texture. In RH, it always really looks like the neck was cut off. So I'm using a picture as um, inspiration and clay to really build up that texture so it doesn't look perfect because obviously a sculptures are imperfect. That's kind of the beauty of them. So I wanted to emulate that. So I did that around the neck and then I also added um, some texture around the um, 
midsection because they normally have gashes in them and I wanted to make it look like it was a heeled scar. While you could obviously cut this open, you'd be able to see through it. So I thought that making it look like a race car would be better than trying to make it look like um, the skin will split because I just don't have that expertise. But I'm just laying that flat, down flat with my fingers and you can add much more texture if you'd like. Um, what I would have done if I were gonna redo this was I'd actually um, make one arm longer than the other to make it look more realistic. Then you're going to spray paint for the final time, first with that stone texture to add some texture to the scar and the neck, and then with that flat um, black color to make it all a uniform color, including the stand, the scars, everything. Because again, you want it to look uniform, but you still want texture. In total, this project cost me $34, which I think is really great for a bust. And now I'm just using it as a coffee table piece. This is how it turned out. I'm really happy with it. If you want to emulate this, you could definitely add more or less texture, um, but I think it turned out really well for the cost. The second DIY today is RH Clay Knots and Rings. The technique comes from Bow Arts 107. She has a great Instagram page and I will link her down below. All you're gonna need is parchment paper, air dry clay, which you can get at Walmart for $5, um, some paint, whatever color you want, and a little bit of water. First, what you're gonna wanna do is take your parchment paper and put it on a surface. Make sure that that surface is clean so that whatever dirt is on there doesn't get stuck in your clay, and then you just roll out your clay. Because we want it to be RH inspired, we wanna make it pretty thick. So add as much clay as you need, and if you want it to get smooth after adding more clay, just dip your fingers in a little bit of cold water and that'll smooth it out really well. But try not to use too much water because it gets super messy. You're gonna do this until you're happy. I really wanted mine to be super smooth, so it took me a ridiculously long period of time for absolutely no reason. And then you're just gonna wanna shape it into whatever you want. Um, this is half of a ring. I made two shapes like this, put them together, and that was it. I got my clasps. This is a knot that I made the day prior while my clasps are drying, and you have to make sure that it's completely dry or the paint and the clay mixes and it's a total mess. And I'm just painting it with some acrylic paint that I had on hand. I'm painting it by hand, but you could definitely spray paint it. I just paint by hand because it's easier to get an even texture. And when I made my knot, I made sure to make the bottom of it completely flat so that it would lay flat. Um, and so I would have to do less work with the sculpting and the painting. For $5, I think these turned out super well. They're a nice modern piece that adds some texture and a little bit of earthiness if you wanted to paint it a different color. They were so affordable and so easy to make, I would definitely recommend it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please like this video and subscribe to DIY with KB. Thanks for watching and have a beautiful day.